Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, December 1st, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Next year's rookie class has some big shoes to fill as they follow in the footsteps of one of the best groups of young talent we've seen in recent memory. But then again, the weight of heavy expectations hasn't ever seemed to bother Sergio Oliva Jr. much, has it? With his pro debut slated to come sometime in 2017, the former NPC national overall champion looks like he's more than ready to step up to the plate and take on any challenge thrown his way. Recently, Oliva released a handful of new progress photos, and from the look of things, he seems to be right on point to come in and be a true impact rookie from day one. It isn't just the talent and natural gifts that set this kid apart, it's also his work ethic. So if he uses those next few months wisely and really focuses on hammering some of his weak points, he could be in line to have one hell of a first year in 2017. I know people always say that bodybuilding is an illusion. So, I guess that would make Flex Lewis one of the greatest illusionists of our time. Because someone still has yet to explain to me how on earth this guy continues to suck down and make the 212 weight class, year after year. This week, some new back training footage surfaced of an absolutely gigantic Flex Lewis, who doesn't even look like he's been within smelling distance of 212 since he wrapped up his season back at the Korea Grand Prix. All kidding aside, this year King Flex reminded us all why he doesn't just deserve a spot on the 212 Mount Rushmore. The guy probably deserves his own mountain. And at just 33 years old, he's already managed to accrue five straight Olympia titles. And looks like he's probably going to cruise right past Iris Kyle's record of 10 titles straight into the record books as the most decorated Olympian of all time. Believe it or not, the San Marino Pro is actually set to go down this weekend. And if you're still looking for a late last minute pick who can come in and upset things in the figure division, former British national champ Louise Rogers might not be a bad place to start. Earlier this week, Rogers released a handful of jaw-dropping new progress photos, showing off the sort of shape, conditioning, and next level muscle that's going to make her very difficult to deal with come Saturday. In the past, we've seen Rogers hold down top 10 finishes against some stiff competition at the Arnold Europe. But this might be her best look yet, and if she can manage to come in with the right amount of roundness, with muscles popping, expect her to fight for a spot in the first callout. Sometimes a little bit of rest can do the body a whole lot of good, and that certainly appears to be the case for species nutrition athlete Erica Blockman. After another spectacular season that saw her collect three huge top five finishes and make her way back to the Olympia stage for the second consecutive season, the rising women's physique star has really hit the ground running so far this offseason. In her most recent set of progress photos, we can see Blockman showing off some new improvements in her shoulders and looking to be quite a bit leaner than we've seen her in years past. Every time she sets foot on stage, Blockman seems to add some sort of new wrinkle to her game, and she keeps getting incrementally better year in and year out. And if she can capitalize on her new improvements, it wouldn't surprise anyone one bit to see her end next season with a few wins under her belt. I heard a rumor once that those Transformer movies were actually based on a true person. Well, I guess that would at least in part explain why Bodybuilding's version of Optimus Prime has been absolutely crushing things so far this offseason. Recently, our old friend Max Charles was spotted sneaking in a late night back training session at the world famous Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym, where he was looking every bit the part of something from, well, out of this world. Even though he may not have made his way back to the Olympia stage this year, when he was back on stage, Max showed all of that classic Max Charles nastiness, along with some solid improvements in the leg department. If he can continue to bring up those legs to match his already elite upper half, this guy is going to be pretty scary when he finally puts it all together. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 